Hey everyone, welcome back to, uh, I guess this would be Freedom City 1165 on Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Right. Well, I'm underground here. Yeah, uh, there's this um, business over here uh, with a cave in and uh, just um, over here somewhere is a, uh, is the other... Uh, um, the other uh, surface tunnel, right? So uh, I'll be able to get that operating as well. Uh, and I think uh, I think that would be that would be a good uh, good bit to uh, get things uh, going with. Uh, now, oh right, I need to speed that up a bit. Now uh, that particular bit. Oh, it is in range, I, I guess, sort of, maybe. No, it isn't, is it? Huh. Maybe it is. Um, you know, if I was to put a one of these, needs three power. If I were to put one of these here, yeah, and one of these. I should, in theory, be able to uh, get this operation uh, going right. Okay, well, what I want to do now is just uh, duck in up here and see how we're doing with our cold wave, which only has us as just under two sols left, which, uh, ah, we're at... Uh, 39.25 or so, two or so atmosphere, 32% or so of uh, temperature, right? Uh, we have, uh, no, it's uh, here. We have one, we have this guy going, uh, which is doing 0.4. We're doing 0.8, right? And we're losing 0.42 some. So I need another one of those. Now the question is, do I have the resources to do that? Um, I have a lot of waste rock down here. Yeah, I could put another one there. I could. Oh, well, we got a thousand research from uh, our thing there. I got too much stuff in the thing there. Uh, we got some cash. Oh, let's just check in here. Outsource. We're already outsourcing as much as we can. Uh, we're making plasma rocket. Okay. That cuts the uh, travel time on rockets. Okay. Right. Okay, so we are uh, consuming 66 waste rock and producing 32. Well, uh, we're probably going to want to be producing more uh, waste rock at some point. Um... But all of the waste rock seems to be down here. So maybe I can make another one of these over here. Yeah, I probably can. So if I go in here and, uh, oh, I'd be in here. Yeah, uh, flatten. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, right. Okay, let's uh, stop time while I mess with this. Uh, right. Okay. This will get us more waste rock even. Yeah, that does seem like it might sort of maybe be useful. Okay. Uh, so if we come out to here and we go up to here. Okay, so we only have two extra waste rock there because I'm flattening out to there, I guess. Right, so what I'll do is I'll put, uh, I'll put another one of these guys in here. And they can, and they can benefit from this thing here, right? Yeah, okay, so that's flattened. 
So that's going to be under, uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> here, carbonate processor. Uh, right, so I can put it here. Bam. Yep. So that's going to need 200 concrete and a bunch of metal. We do have the metal uh, now with the mohol. And the machine parts aren't going to be a problem, again, with the mohol. And concrete. We're producing concrete at 41 per sol. So we should be okay with all of that stuff for now. Right. And the mole hole is not operating because storage space is full for rare metals. Okay, why don't I get another one uh, going back and forth ferrying rare metals? Yeah. I suppose it... Well, it's... it. Oh, okay. Right. Um, that is the one problem with the mohol, is uh, rare metals. If you're using the metals, but you're not using the rare metals, then it will end up uh, over overloading it. <coughs> well, I've got a rare metals extractor here that I can get rid of now. Yeah. I'm just going to do that with it. Yeah. I will let those engineers work somewhere else, right? And you are also a rare metals extractor. I can get rid of you. Uh, building idle extractors, building with depleted deposits. This guy is producing 3.8. Yeah. Split power grid. Ah. Yes, that would be a split grid. Okay. So if I go in here and grab a power cable, I can do this. Yep. Okay. Dust storm in three sols. Um, Easter BM10 is leaving. Okay. Yep. That's, uh, that's stuff. We have here, and we're going to get the uh, plasma rockets uh, real quick now. Okay, I think perhaps I should also go in here and make a depot for rare metals. Maybe a couple of them here. Yeah. Yeah, that does seem like a good idea. And I think, given the... Oh, that's plasma rockets. Uh, given the resource availability, uh, I might want to stick another one of these guys over here. Yep, I think so. And where's the drone assembler? Uh, that's here. Let's make... Uh, Uh, control 5. Let's make a big stack of drones. Just so we have a bunch kicking about, right? Yeah, that seems like enough. It'll soak up 250 electronics, right? So, yeah. That's, uh, that's also going to soak up some rare metals. And that will definitely help some things. Uh, right. What are we researching now? Magnetic extraction. Magnetic extraction. Uh, right. What, what does that... No. Uh, here. Magnetic extraction gets us... Extractor upgrade. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay, so we have here... Yeah, we've uh, emptied out the storage there. Um, 
let's let's give it uh, ten drones there. Uh, now I have a rare metals depot here as well. Yeah. You know what? Let's uh, let's put twenty drones each in in those. Uh, just seems like it might be useful when the rockets are doing their thing there, right? Right. And this guy is operating. So now we're doing 1.2. Uh, right. So the idea is to get up to a decent um, atmosphere number. Uh, you know, get up above 50% at the very least, and then the sky clears. And we get, uh, we get a blue sky on Mars, right? Uh, get this up to 50% and all of the cold waves go away and 50% uh, atmosphere, 50% temperature gets rid of all of the critical disasters that are really, really annoying. So it gets rid of the dust storms and the cold waves. Uh, and even being this close gets you know, lessens them quite significantly. So that is all uh, quite useful. Right. Uh, so far, so good. We're, we have 457 colonists. We have 44 children. Uh, that means we got more children than seniors. That's kind of useful. Right. And we got 151 unemployed. Yeah. Uh, well, 151 unemployed is all terribly useful. Uh, here we have 42 unemployed. Yeah. You are fully filled up. Yeah. Wait, are you on heavy workload? Normal workload. Okay, good. Winds of change. Your attention is required. Okay. We have detected a dome construction within several clicks of the colony site. No vehicles, etc. Yet the dome gradually emerges from thin air. Long-range telemetry can tell us just as much as this. If we want to investigate this, we have to send a rocket with exploration equipment or personnel. New planetary anomaly detected mysterious dome structure. Send an expedition. Okay, do I have a rocket? I do have a rocket. Okay. Oh. Ready to land. Wait, what are you? Night Rider 2. Can't land during dust storms. Ah... Uh... Well, I'll just uh, go in here. A mysterious dome structure. Send expedition. Uh, we'll, we'll send that guy. You can... Yep. Mission suspended due to dust storm. Needs five colonists. Needs an explorer. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Where's the explorer? Um, explorer. You're way out over there. Why don't you come in up here? Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, let's jump back underground and take a boo down here. Uh, we have... Uh, this guy is operational, so let's send this guy through here so we can see something. Now, let's clear a bunch of this stuff out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we uh, found an anomaly. Uh, right. We found another anomaly. Nice. Okay, yeah, get rid of a bunch of cave-ins, then we can see what's doing down here. Oh, we got more caving in happening. Isn't that just ducky? Wow! Okay. Uh, cave-in... Cave 
cave in, cave in, cave in. Oh, look, it's one there too, and one there, and one there. Okay, let the drones go to work. Right. Okay, the asteroid has left. That's fine. Where am I? Down here. Okay. Now, you go scan the anomaly. Clear that. Clear that. Clear that. Yeah. Okay. Scan the anomalies because they're there. Oh. Clear a bunch of cave-ins, too. I just love how you can find cave-ins in the dark like that. Yeah. Uh, this is just about done. Uh, what's this one going to be? Re reduction in some tech cost, I think. That's what the other three or four were. Um, the Explorer made a thorough scan and couldn't find anything. Regrettably, or were they? Yeah, okay. Go here. What's this? Surface tunnel. Ah! There's the surface tunnel. Okay. So what I want to do... It is... Elevator. Where's this? Yeah. Blocking objects. What's blocking? Um, what is blocking it? Okay, uh, you go over there. Ah, that's the anomaly you get when you just come down. Yeah, okay. Now... Uh, you, elevator, built the elevator, yeah, okay, you go there, okay, um, new anomalies found, yes, we know that, okay, now, are you in range, yeah, you are, uh, we've exported some rare metals, asteroid has left let's jump back up here uh winds of change um okay rocket lands mysterious dome etc after initial a team goes to work found out da, 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 da. uh ooh which one do I go for? It's too dangerous. Get out of there. Uh, we cannot afford a gray goo scenario. Find a way to deactivate them. Amazing. Try to stay as much as possible and study them. Stay as much as you need to find a way to control them. Let's try to control them. Team starts working frantically, etc. Meanwhile, the rogue nanites outside. Da, 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 da. Uh, finish the rogue nanite analysis tech. Okay, so we uh, jump in uh, in here. Rogue nanite analysis tech. Put it right at the front. Outsource the max. We'll finish it in a sol. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Now, where is this? We haven't repaired that leak yet. Why? Why haven't we repaired the leaks? Do I have a lack? No. I have drones there.
why is it not repairing that leak? Uh, right. Okay. Let's try that, and then we'll go pipe, pipe, connect. Yes. Now, will it, will it build it? Yeah, it'll build it. Split life support grids. Okay. Well, there's that. We have, okay, all that business. 42 and three quarter percent atmosphere. Uh, right. 30, we're a third of the way on temperature. Uh, we're doing 0.1 per sol. We have an asteroid. Close. Okay, now what do I want to do? Uh, maybe put up another GHG, or, or uh, what is it? Was it a GHD? What is it? Um, it's over here. GHD factory. Put a couple more of these up. Yeah, I could put a couple more of those up. Where am I going to put them? Uh, oh, we've completed... Uh, rogue nanites okay uh why don't i put you where do i have a fuel st stash why don't i put you over here yeah we'll, we'll triple our rate what does this what does this take concrete yeah we, we got that we can do that okay uh Okay, we have done that. Close. Uh, we have the rocket is returning. Okay. Uh, right, okay. What have we... We have dead colonists. Yeah, we have dead colonists. And we have starving colonists. Yes. Right. Well, what's our uh, scenario here? Starving. Yeah. So they're... Th what? We have five starving. How do we have five in there with only... With only three listed here? I'm just going to take that one out of the thing there. Where are you? Oh my. Where's the uh, commander? RC commander. Um, where are you? Where, where are you? Okay. Okay. RC commander come. Right? Okay, we'll give it five drones. Okay. Now, we'll let the uh, commander get there. Now, let's go uh, have a... Uh... Malfunction. Okay. Let's go have a look underground. Now, I think I probably need one of these yep i probably need one of those what's this polymers oh okay yep now Okay, that's going to get slowly built. Yeah. Yeah, that'll get built. That should be fine. 
Okay, a rover stumbled across a slew of resources. Upon closer inspection, they seem to have originated from a Martian surface and have found their way, etc. While the coincidence is staggering, we will let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. What did we find? Food, electronics, polymers. Ah, right. Well, yeah, that's definitely sort of useful. Uh, right, this is going to need power, isn't it? Yeah, so if I were to, one, just uh, run a power cable through here, Eh, kind of like that. Yeah, if I run a power cable like that, then I can also put uh, a couple of those in. Yeah. Uh, the uh, elevator also so counts as a support structure, so uh, we can definitely uh, we definitely want that, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we have another elevator that can operate. That it, it's also a drone controller. Um, yeah. Um, why don't I take you and assign as many as I can over here. Okay, so now we've got six drones there, and none here. Yeah. Well, if I go in here, and I go in here, switch to manual, and I want prefab buildings. Does it have drone hubs? No, 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 no. I want drones. Okay, transport. So, that get us uh that got us a bunch of drones. Yeah. That's way more than we need there. Um, yeah, we'll stick. We'll stick them all over here now. Yeah, that's okay. Now I can, un, I can pack them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you. Uh, oh right. Okay. I can pack, um, yeah, pack, okay, now I'm going to go for you, and we're going to assign everybody over here, yeah, okay, now there's 10, okay, unpack a few there, good, we've got a stack of, of drones there. Now, you, uh, we can travel this way. Oh, we can scan an anomaly after we clear a way to it. Yeah, okay. I should start putting up lights or something down here. Um, right. So that's a, that's a mystery one. Yeah. Um, let's see what that one is.
Uh, I'll just quickly check in up here. Yeah, okay. We're fine. Um, drones, one of 20. Okay. Right. Okay. You. Uh-huh. Now, the there's the other elevator. Yeah. You know what I should be putting up here? Yeah, you guessed it. Uh, I should be putting one of... Where is it? I know it's... There it is. I should be putting maybe couple of these up here, eh? Yeah. And also maybe a couple of scrubbers. And also some power. Okay, pause that. Uh, power. 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 Yes. Put a couple of these up. Okay, and then we go and put one of these. Put that there. New galaxy discovered. Uh, after taking a second look at our recent deep space surveys, etc., galaxy uh, has existed over 13.4 billion years ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, that's actually plausible given that uh, we've actually seen galaxies like that in real life. Uh, yeah, I think the JWST uh, spotted one of those. Now, uh, so that needs 10. Um, yeah, okay. I think four of those will be enough. Isn't that wild? The whole... Uh, the nanite construction thing. Isn't that wild? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't have to bring any drones in to do the construction. Uh, you do need all of the materials, though. And we are short on metals, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, right. I can uh, I can open those, but might as well let uh, let all of the, these things take ten power. These things take how much power? Ah, there goes one of them. And up, oh, there's the other one. So I'll want to, yeah, open the service area, open the service area. Good. They cover each other and they take 12 power. So 13, so 26, 36, 46, 56. Yeah, open those. Right. Okay, so we should have plenty of power over here now. Uh, counting what's coming up from below and up here. Uh, these guys, they should all be doing their thing. Um, this guy is a drone uh, controller. But I can't unpack drones at it. Yeah. Right. Well, that's fine. Now, uh, let's jump into the science operation here. And we have, uh, we're doing large-scale excavation. Okay, yeah, we've got all of this, ex this expensive tech down here. Let's go, let's just work on the expensive techs, right? Now, we can just grab more out outsourcing, right? Because we're just swimming in the cash now. But basically, now that... Uh, 
both of these these things are operational we can do quite a bit of stuff now let's just go check in down here no pause it okay so uh rare anomaly analyzed uh, a few probes we sent etc 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 uh usually da, 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 da. Uh, our sponsors request is dig out etc ship it back to earth they want to put it on display they're willing to send us a few prototypes of buildings what do we want shuttle hubs underground basic domes scrubbers recon centers shuttle hubs maybe actually let's get underground basic domes yeah okay uh wow uh we need to uh we need to uh, do we have any drones in here yeah okay where are they okay clear rubble yep okay now we're doing something uh clear that clear that clear that clear that clear that yeah right okay suppose we could clear that too yeah clear that clear that let's clear more stuff yeah we'll just clear a bunch of stuff and right okay repair the cables would you uh, right that would be good if you'd repair the cables yeah okay now we're we're leaking 230 yeah nope we don't care about that now uh, okay uh-huh now how much are we losing It's 20 some per fault. Wow. Uh huh. So as it repairs things. Okay, you clear, clear that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We've got some power turning up in places now. That's good. And it's repairing leaks. Yeah. Is that all the leaks? Maybe. Okay. Where's my uh, other guy? He's over here. Um... You're out of range of the controllers. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I can just go and uh, drop a drone hub. Right there. And drop one of uh, these guys in. Yeah. Okay, that'll get that built. Good. 
There we go. Uh, that just needs to build. Yeah, it just needs polymers and stuff now. Yeah. So just about to the point where we've made a full loop through the underground here, right? And that's uh, that's definitely going to be useful. Uh, just for having made a loop. Now, I should probably go around and put some lights up so I can see things or something. But, yeah. What's this? It's another one of those things. Uh, where's the guy? Send him over there. Um, clear that. Yeah, clear that. Yeah. Okay. And good. Head over here. Clear that. Clear that. Yeah, we'll clear some stuff over here. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh, that's just a regular anomaly. We'll see what we find there. Oh, we found some uh, resource deposits over there. Well, that's fun. And what do we have here? I'm just about going to put the cut in here. And uh, we'll, then we'll see what's, uh, what's doing here. Uh, analyzed. Uh, we discovered uh, vibrating stalactite. Vibrations are to detect, etc. Our geologists are imploring that we need to investigate further. Uh, take a physical sample. Damaged rover. Stalactite collapsed. Our RC Explorer got damaged in the process. These repair. On the bright side, we're literally covered in samples to analyze. We just need to pick through the rubble. Let's start digging. And malfunctioned. Okay. Are you going to... Oh. Shrouded in rubble. Okay. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. Are you going to repair? Yes. And we are analyzing an anomaly. Yes. That is going to get us something. Maybe. Perhaps. Right. Uh, just, well, I'll wait until this specific one sorts itself out. And we've got a quake going on. So, oh yay. Um, yeah. Okay, finish, would you? Okay. Cave in. Cave in. Yeah. Cave in. Yeah. Cave in. Yeah. We got one over here. Yeah. Okay, now where's the explorer? Okay, what have we got? We've got... Um, as predicted by our geologists, it's stalactite was, is a real treasure, vibration goes by, etc. Somewhere, etc. Gain 5,000 uh, research points. Okay. Uh, right. We've discovered a previously unknown Earth Trojan, these asteroids, etc. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll take that. Right. Wow. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff over here that's probably out of range of the drones. Maybe not all of it is. Well, this has been all around a 
Oh, there's something over here. Um, right. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, we should be able to come in this way. Uh, yeah. Collapse tunnel. Okay. Well, we'll clear that too. Okay. Well, that has got it all the way around. So, yay. That's quite the uh, progress here. Yeah. Well, more exploring next time, I think. Uh, I'm just going to jump back up here and we can observe what's going on here. Uh, we've got uh, almost 50% atmosphere. So, uh, next time around, blue skies on Mars, I think. Yeah. Uh, blue skies on Mars it will be the milestone, I think. And we're 35% up on uh, temperature, gaining 0.3 per sol. So 1% every three sols. Uh, well, it's 3% um, uh, every 10 sols, right? So yeah. 1% every three and a third souls. Yeah, that'd be closer. Right. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, as you have probably determined, uh, the game's basically won. I, I don't have uh, resource shortages or anything like that. I don't have to worry too much about anything. I've got a basically stable colony. I'm just going to run it through until I've got the domes open, uh, I think. And once, that, once I've opened the domes, I think that will probably be it. I'm not going to bother with finishing the terraforming. It take, it's just too much busy waiting uh, or just tedious waiting uh, for the veg vegetation to get to 100%, right? Uh, water, yeah, it's not too bad. You can get it there. But it takes too much to get it to 100% on vegetation. Uh, I might start uh, capturing ice asteroids or something like that. Uh, that might be a, a good thing. Do I actually have ice asteroids as a... That's meteors. I don't have the ice asteroids stuff. Right. Okay. But anyway, uh, that's the, the idea, right? Uh, I'll, I'll get the atmosphere up to 93%, I think it is the target, and the temperature above 50%, and then we can open the domes. And after that, uh, it's just, uh, if there's anything interesting still in the underground to faff around with, I'll look into that. Uh, but I think there's maybe half a dozen parts of this at most left uh, before it gets to the point where there's really nothing doing. Uh, but that's, that's basically where we're at. Uh, I guess I'll just mention on the way out that I have a Patreon if for some reason you feel like supporting the channel. You don't have to. If you just for some reason feel like it, it's there. Uh, link's in the description. And otherwise, or not otherwise, uh, see you back next time.